Hello, welcome back to Inform4W45 Productions. I am your host, Inform4W45, but you can call me Name, and I'm going to tell you a story about my life. It all started about two years ago when my father came to me and said, Do you want to go on a vision quest? Now, if you don't know this, I am about a fourth Indian, my father being a half, and a vision quest is an Indian ritual where you get to go into the woods and become a man. The details of this ritual contain going into the woods for four days without food or water and being in a ten diameter foot circle and just staying there and meditating and praying and whatnot. My father, being the kind man that he is, told me that because I was 14 and not 18, the proper age to do it, I would only be in the woods for two days and I would be given a gallon of water. We would be going to Illinois' Garden of the Gods and to celebrate surviving it, we would be going to the Pokemon National Tournament afterwards. And so, because I like Pokemon, I said sure, and we went, and it was exciting, but the story does not end there because, as you probably know, a lot of things don't really go according to plan. There I was, about to start my journey in my 10 foot diameter circle. My dad was just getting ready to leave for the days and then I heard a coyote. So I said to him, what do I do if a coyote shows up? Should I climb up a tree, hide in the tent? That doesn't really sound like a good idea. And my father said, don't worry, here is a whistle. Do the SOS thing if you need me. Slightly contented with the whistle, I was then given a little bottle of bug spray, and then it was just me and the tent and the four bottles of water for the next two days. And to be honest with you, nothing really exciting happened for the rest of the day. I was just there, I prayed a lot, but I just sat there. Eventually, at one point, I went into the tent, and then I woke up like an hour later, and then the sun was still up, so I had to wait longer and wait and it was quiet and it was good. I'm not saying that I wasn't um, having a, a good experience but it was a little bit boring and the time went by slowly. The next day I woke up to the sun in my face and I guess that it was about 8 o'clock or so. I guess I timed it wrong or really miscalculated because it seemed that the day was taking forever. It was only later to discover that I probably woke up around 6 o'clock. At about noon or what I thought was noon I had an entire bottle of water. But an hour after that, it started to rain. So I got in my tent and I was kind of worried about my dad because he was sleeping who knows where, also doing the vision quest, and I don't know if he had a tent or not. So I took the whistle and I blew it a lot, like about five minutes every time I would blow it and got no response. About half an hour later, I heard, Name. I'm like, whoa! Except it was my dad. And he said, I'm breaking your people fast, let me in the tent, I'm wet. So we talked about our experiences and then I let him take a nap. When he woke up about an hour, maybe two hours later, we decided that because my dad had been having such a rough time of it, we would go to a hotel and spend the rest of our vision quest watching TV. An interesting thing to point out, there was a butterfly that remained for me for almost the entire majority of the second day. It just showed up in my circle, it stood on a rock for the entire time, and when it started to rain, it went under my tent, not my tent, my tent tarp that covered the rain, and it just stood there and stayed there for a long time, and then after my dad woke up, I discovered that it was gone. I then decided that that butterfly was my Patronus. My name is Enferm for W45. I hope you enjoyed this interesting story that happened to me two years ago. Peace in Christ and imagine on. Just thought I should point out, uh, I asked my dad after he came to my tent if he heard my whistles, and then he said, what whistles? So if a coyote had actually come to attack me, the whistle probably wouldn't have helped at all.